Jim Cleves of Carnegie's Geophysical Laboratory is part of a team of scientists that recently uncovered samples from biochemist Stanley Miller's 1950s experiments to demonstrate that organic compounds could be created under conditions mimicking the primordial Earth. Miller's experiments were the first to demonstrate that subjecting hydrogen-rich gases to an electric spark could create the basic molecules of life. The set of samples used in this research was created in 1958. In the years since Miller's initial experiment, scientists have come to believe that the atmosphere of primitive Earth wasn't made up of the same gases that he used in his initial study. But volcanic eruptions were likely very common during the early history of the planet, and these volcanoes could have emitted clouds rich in hydrogen, methane, and hydrogen sulfide, which would create conditions similar to Miller's experiments in limited geographic areas. The spark could have been supplied by lightning, which is commonly associated with volcanic clouds. The techniques used in the 1950s were only capable of detecting a few amino acids, but today's equipment is much more sophisticated. The team was able to identify 23 types of amino acid, some of which are the building blocks of proteins and necessary for life. This includes the sulfur-containing amino acid methionine, as well as four other types of organic compounds known as amines. The team checked their work by comparing the amino acids created by Miller to organic compounds found in carbonaceous chondrites, a type of organic-rich meteorite. They found the greatest similarity between the experiments with hydrogen sulfide and the carbonaceous chondrites, indicating that hydrogen sulfide may have played a role in the creation of the meteorite amino acids. The research was published online by the Proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences. The Carnegie Institution has had over 100 years of extraordinary discoveries. To continue this tradition, Carnegie scientists need your support. For more information about this and other cool science, visit our website at carnegiescience.edu. This is John Strom.